Hi guys, so what we're gonna do, I want you guys to write down on either a piece of paper or somewhere that is visible to you. When we're putting all these tricks together, whether it's a tricks class or basic manners or whatever you guys are working on, I think it's really important to be able to like understand what your dog already knows and writing them all down because what your dog knows is way more than what we tend to think of. We're like, well, he knows sit, he knows down, he knows roll over. But if you really think about it, so Captain knows how to stay. He knows how to go to bed. He knows how to spin and twirl. I don't know how to spell. <laughs> He can army crawl, he can howl, he can settle, sometimes <laughs> stay, he can stay, he's doing a great job with this. He can F it, I can't say that word or I'll still go berserker. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Um, he can sit, he can down, he can paw. He can walk with me. What else can you do, buddy? You can sit pretty. He can roll over. So what I want you to start working on this week is writing down all the things that your dog knows how to do. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna put those on index cards. And those index cards you can put around your living room. This is actually something I do for my students in my Manners One graduation class. We take all the things that they know, whether it's leave it, um, the things that we are technically learning in the Manners class. So we know sit down, loose leash walking for 25 feet with a cheese stick up their nose, stay or settle, um, sit down, whatever those things may be. And then you kind of do like you put all those things on index cards and then you put them around a room and you number them. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you walk up to the first index card and it might say sit. So I walk up to the index card, sit. Yes and treat. And then I walk up to the next one. It might say stay for 10 seconds. Down, stay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yes. And then it might say, come when called at the next one. So I might ask him to stay here, walk over, come. Hey, good boy. The next one might say, sit pretty. So I might walk over to the next index card, touch, sit. And this one's hard for him. So I might even help him out. Sit pretty, good job. So write down all the things your dog knows or the things that you're working on and see if you can set up a little obstacle course with these ideas in mind, whether it's leave it or stay or tricks like spin, twirl, go through your legs or a leg weave, go through. Whatever tricks your dog knows, whether they're manners or tricky tricks, you can go ahead and make it harder for yourself and set up little obstacles for yourself around your house. Give it a shot. Let me see what it does. Uh, let me see how you do. I've been talking at poor Nick for two hours. <laughs> so take a video. Let me see how it goes. Send it to me, uh, considerationsbook at gmail.com. And we'll go from there.